Hi, this is CAD CAM Lessons channel and in this video I will show you how to create such geometry in QCAD. QCAD is a 2D CAD system, which means a software where we create flat geometries. Such geometries can be used, for example, as geometries for lasers or plasma cutters. But also, such geometries can be used in 3D CAD systems to prepare 3D models based on these geometries. If you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any new content. And if you'd like to support my work and treat me to a virtual coffee, you can find all the details in the description below. Thank you for your support. Now I will move on to a new project and show you how to create such geometry. We will start by creating a circle. When it comes to creating circles, we go to the circle drawing menu. Here we have several ways to create a circle. Let's choose this command to create a circle by specifying the diameter of this circle. Enter 100 millimeters as the diameter of the circle and place the center of the circle at this point. Now, if you would like to finish this command, click the right mouse button. In this case, we will create another circle with a diameter of 10 millimeters. I will change the diameter and create this circle at this point. I right click to finish this command and right click again to return to the main menu. Regarding this menu, we can also return to the main menu with this arrow. To create a circular pattern of this circle, we select this circle, go to the modification tools, and choose the rotate command. Next, we need to specify the center point of rotation. In our case, it will be the center point of the pattern. We select this point as the center point. Here we can apply the rotation. If we select the delete original option and specify the angle value, this geometry will be rotated by the specified angle. I press Ctrl Z to undo this and select the rotate command again. I select the center point as the origin of the coordinate system. We had the delete original option selected and the source geometry was removed. If we select the keep original geometry option, as you might guess, the source geometry will remain in the project. This way, we can apply the rotation of the geometry by a specified angle. But if we would like to apply a circular pattern based on this geometry, we will also use the rotate command. We select the geometry we want to copy in a circular pattern, choose the rotate command, specify the center point of the pattern, and here we check the multiple copies option. I would like to get 10 copies evenly spaced around the circle, so I specify the angle value here. We can also do it this way by entering a mathematical operation here. In this case, it is easy to calculate because 360 divided by 10 is simply 36, but I want to show you that we can enter mathematical operations here. In cases where we are making an array with different angle values, using mathematical operations can help determine the correct angle value. I want to prepare a circular array of 10 copies spaced every 36 degrees and click OK. In this case, what is worth noting is that we made 10 copies of this hole. As for the source hole, it remains here. If I now select this hole and press delete, one geometry has been removed, but one geometry remains because this circle has been repeated. We can approach this a bit differently. I will create another circle, a circle with a diameter of 15 millimeters, which will be placed at this point. I will create a circular array based on this circle, specify the center point, and here is the number of copies. I will enter 9. Now, if I enter 36 divided by 9 as the angle value and click OK, something like this will happen. I didn't quite want that. Here, even though we are making an array of 9 copies, we must specify the angle value as 36 degrees because the source geometry will remain in this place, and we want to create 9 more circles that will be spaced every 36 degrees. I click OK. This way we have something like this. As for this geometry, we have one geometry here, we don't have double geometry here, 
As for the circular array in QCAD, we can do it this way. We use the rotate command in this case and specify the appropriate number of copies. We will finish here. Thanks for watching.